Hello, hello YouTube, my name is Mitsur, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Violet. Last we left off, I had beaten the Fire Team Star Leader, and I was going to make my way towards the second Titan. Um, now, today I had planned for a double upload because I couldn't find time to record to upload yesterday. And in the process of recording what was going to be a showdown, or a showdown live, I had my mic pushed up near the top of my head so I didn't get it in the way of eating earlier today and I had forgotten to put I had forgot to put it down so I lost 35 minutes of recording because it had no sound <sighs> and there was some good matches in there and there was some big misplays but I was gonna upload it anyway because it was an interesting um, it was an interesting match or an interesting like sequence of matches and I uh, I only realized after I had fully recorded it that it had absolutely no sound so yeah, I had to completely scrap the recording. Probably gonna try and do another showdown live, but I don't know because my internet is bugging out really, really hard today. I don't, it's flickering in and out constantly. Like sometimes it'll be good for a good little bit and then other times it'll just die out and then come back online and then die out and then come back online. It's just... It's a frustrating experience. So, I'm maybe gonna try and do a showdown live, but I, I don't know. Not to mention, at the end of the last one, on top of forgetting to put down my mic so or push down my mic so that I can actually have audio in my game I or well, audio in my video I should say um, the very ending match of the of the video was honestly completely horrid I essentially there was a mon that was uh well there was a Saru ledge that had plus two attack plus two speed and all and it was getting ticked by salt cure and all I needed to do was go into Tauros get the intimidate drop eat the the hit it was gonna use and it was only gonna restore like 20% health, my salt cure was going to deal 12% chip damage to it, and then all I needed to do from then on was click Raging Bull, which would have been a stab water type move, base 90 power, and for whatever reason, it's something convinced me that... Something convinced me that Cerulege's signature move, Bitter Blade, which is a fire type move, was a fighting type move. I don't know what convinced me that it was a fighting type move, but I was convinced. Either that or I was convinced it was going to go for a fighting type move. And I just, I, I switched into Goldengo. It clicked Bitter Blade one shot my goldango and restored 70% of its health bar and proceeded to sweep from then on and I wanted to beat the life out of myself for it because it was such an obvious 
I, I could have won the match so easily from that point on, but I it just made the biggest misplay of my life. Anyway, enough about showdown. I'm gonna beat this Titan today because I don't think it's gonna take much. Considering it's a flying type and I'm a rock type, I don't think it's gonna take very much. Not to mention I just clicked iron defense. It's got like no special attacking moves, I don't think. I could be very wrong about that, but I resist probably whatever it, it has anyway. I don't think rock resists dark, but well, no, it doesn't, but uh, flying and it gets a lot of rock type moves, but the thing is a dark or a flying dark type, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it's uh, at a very big disadvantage against my uh, Stephanie. But I will try to have a double upload and we'll probably try to upload a um... oh that's not good a uh, showdown video but I don't know if my internet's gonna cooperate with me enough to actually be able to upload that so I'm probably gonna try I'm, I'm gonna make this video a little bit longer I'm gonna make it like 30 minutes ish to make up for yesterday's video or not yesterday's video the day before that um, being five minutes shorter than what I normally like to do I like to do 25 minute videos when it was 20 minutes um, that's just because my dad kind of like ruined my mood for the video but I don't think that'll happen again tonight so should be good oh torment provides me from using the same move two times in a row yeah yeah I just spam clicked on accident um I gotta stop doing that stop saying up I gotta Record. I'll try to record that. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully my internet cooperates with me. It probably won't. So I might just make this a 30 minute video and then record another video in the same sitting that's also like 30 minutes. Um, I just said I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> I'll, uh, I might uh, do either or. I'm not sure entirely yet. I'll probably decide at the end, by the end of this video. I'll more than likely have a good chunk of stuff done by the end of this video. Because that Titan was a hell of a lot easier than I normally take it for. The first time I played through, it was a lot harder than that. But I think I know why now. It's because the first time through, I went out the other door, like the east door. This time I went out the west door, out, uh, out of Mesagoza. So, that probably affected it because it, it shifted which place was my quote-unquote starting place, my starting routes. But I can just go the other way anyway. And with, I thought they were supposed to be the same level. But I guess not. So this will probably be different. My, my levels will probably be a bit different. Which will catch me off guard in some cases, I guess. So he's going to whip us up another sandwich here. And we obviously feed it to... Our Maridon and he feeds part of it to... I think we get to see what it is here. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it yet. But I'm pretty sure we get to see what it is here. Uh, 
Ah. He's mad. Because <laughs> Maridon's going to poke at us for wanting her sandwich. I'm going to give it to him, though. Oh, well, at least this time he's being polite about it, right? I guess that's fair that we get more because we help out, but at the same time, yeah, <laughs> what a glutton. It's not mom sandwiches though. I think you'd get a bigger power up if it was mom sandwiches. They hit different. Honestly, that kind of came out of nowhere too. I'm going back to the mom stuff. Kinda wish I could go back to see my mom now. <laughs> oh. Oh. He really pissed. Yeah. Oh, yes, we do get to see it. Oh, the most touching story. So, like you said, this is my boss tip, and he's really, really sick. And he's trying to make sure these, uh, but he's trying to get these Urban Mystica because he believes that they'll help. Because he doesn't want to. This is his. Uh, this is like his uh, starter. In a sense. Like how we have. Like how we have um, our starter. The what is it? Oh, I forgot it's forgot the middle stage, but it's like how we have Sprigatito, he essentially has the boss diff, which was Mastiff earlier. Is it Mastiff? Or no, it's Mastiff. And he's trying to get all these. Essentially, he's trying to get us to go fight these Titans so we can help him help his dog. It's really touching if you think about it. He opened his eyes. This this is especially why I think that Pokemon should have voice acting for small moments like these it would make them so much more touching and so much more emotional he just wants to heal his doggo his doggo is sick wants to get him up and running around again Ooh. Professor Turl. Man, he must have something like a wired into Maridon. To tell him when Maridon gets powered up or something. I don't know. But we got the ability to uh, go across water now. 
I was going to say we uh, got the ability to surf, but I mean, I guess that's technically correct, but not at the same time. Hmm. Where do we go from here? I don't think we take on another Titan. I think I actually kind of have to train a little bit. But I want to, I'm probably going to make it to that gym or make my way towards that gym. So I will swap that. Dodge that, uh, a ghastly. Ooh, or a candy. No shot. Oh my. Oh, I forgot to save. Please just stay in this ultra ball. That is what in the world? No way. I refuse to believe. I just there's there's no way. There's absolutely no way. Well, I have to use it now. I have to use it now. I can't not. This is full odds. And I have no idea what to name it. Um, is going to turn into dragon flying. It's like a little cloud. It's not very original, but let's go with Nimbus. I am definitely adding it to my party. That is... See, I haven't even found a shiny in my original playthrough. So this is kind of insane. Not to mention, I never used Swablu. Oh my... <laughs> never would I have ever guessed that I would have found a shiny. Full odds shiny just roaming about over here. You know, that makes up for the bit of a bad day I've been having there with Pokemon. At least I found a shiny on full odds, literally. And I didn't even save before trying to capture it, which was possibly the dumbest thing you can do. I'm going to save now. Because I don't want to lose any progress. That is... Oh my god. If you would have told me today... That I would have found a shiny... Full odds in my game. In my playthrough. I would have called you crazy. Because my, my luck today has been shit. Like... Complete doo-doo butter. But... No... I, full odds, full odds, shiny Swablu. I never get to use shinies in my playthroughs either. That is insane. I can't believe it. Genuinely cannot believe it. I mean, yes, dragon types are supposed to be strong, but you gotta... Train them up, girly. Gonna make them strong. What did I just run into? Uh, I think that'll do enough. Dragon types can be very strong, but I also had a fairy type move, which is another thing. Um, I'm gonna use round here, because I think round, round stab, yeah, I'm normal flying right now. Flying type's gonna be useful too. Especially for later on.
But I am going. I was gonna say there's no way that's another shiny. I don't know what shiny Mudbray looks like anyway, to be fair. I am going to. Now I'm just tripping, thinking everything's a shiny. I gotta stop. I was gonna say, I'm gonna make my way towards the water gym, I guess. It should be good to make my way there. Metatite. It is psychic and fighting. I should be able to just click disarm and voice and do a good chunk of damage, right? Nice. This does kind of make up for how unfortunate my day's been going so far with Pokemon. So like I said, this is completely full odds. I didn't, and I didn't do anything. I never, like, it, I never in a thousand years would have guessed that I would have found a shiny today. I thought my luck was going to continue to be garbage and I was going to, like, get faints on end today. Damn, if I would have had this luck. Kinda wish I would've been another Nuzlocke. Uh, I don't wanna. I couldn't get away, why not? New. No. I don't wanna lose the Pokemons right after I just got it. Oh wait, come to think of it, what's the name of... Oh, it's Tweety Bird. I was gonna say, what's the name of the little bird that uh, Sylvester Cat is always trying to eat or whatever? And it's, uh, it's Tweety Bird. I could have named it that because Tweety Bird is technically a, a girl. For those of you that didn't know. Oh, I love being hit by Confuse Ray. Pretty sure I'm just gonna click run from this point actually. Wasting my time fighting this mischievous. There's no point. Genuinely. Uh, I think I have, yeah, I hate using those though, because anybody who's happiness based, though I don't think I have anybody whose evolution is happiness based, but I was going to say anybody with happiness based evolutions, they lose happiness every time you use like an energy root or energy powder or whatever on them. But like I said, thankfully I'm pretty positive I don't have any happiness based uh, evolutions on my team. That's a lot. Oh, never mind. I thought he was going to hit more than that. I thought three or four hits were coming out. Please don't actually get three to four hits now that I said that. No way, don't get a fifth hit. Oh my. I thought Swablu was going down. I was gonna not be happy. I was gonna be real upset.
Paybacks, I would say not gonna do much, but I lied. 100% lied. Please don't click payback again. I'm going down here. Oh no, never mind. I take it back. I'm gonna swap though, because this Teddy Urs is putting in work in all honesty. I don't even know why. It's level 16. Maybe swap is just doo butter, but I don't even care. I want to use it since it's, I never get the chance to use shinies. Though I do want to do a lot of shiny hunting on my other file. Because I have 252 Pokemon caught on that file. So I'm creeping up on the uh, 300 mark and then my brother said he was going to help me out the last little bit. But a tink a tink eh? That is a fairy steel type. Pretty positive about that. Um, hmm. I think I just go into Stephanie here. And I think I just click Mudshot. It's gonna have Metal Claw, but I think I should be able to eat those up pretty well. Mold Breaker. Oh, it's got Rock Smash. That's not gonna do much. Just don't get the defense drops. Perfect. That mud shot did a lot, actually. And it's speed felt. Maybe now I outspeed it and just. Yep, yeah, there we go. The two tap. Now we still continue. Now we continue to. Oh, well, that's a new one. Okay, let's go. I was not expecting that. Knackle stack, salt cure, yes. This move is honestly bonkers for one simple reason it deals residual damage every turn so I think I'm gonna get rid of headbutt and while water and steel resist rock or at least I'm pretty sure they both resist rock Oh, I can dash? Huh? I thought I couldn't dash. Oh no, dashing was the first thing I got. That's right. Um, I guess, like I was saying, not sure if water resists rock, but while steel resists rock, and I don't know if water does, but if you hit a water or a steel type with salt gear, you can uh, instead of it dealing like 12% of health 12% of their health or like an eighth it'll deal a quarter so 25% it's honestly absurd it is a very very powerful move if used properly and it is a very big reason why Garganackle the evolution Evolution, sorry for the spoiler. Um, it is a big reason why that is not a shiny. No, it is a evolution. But is that move is a big reason why its evolution is getting seen a lot in uh, singles play. Also, now that I've made it to this city, or this town, after this, uh, this here trainer, I'm going to end the video because it's going to be a little bit over 30 minutes. And I'm going to try and record the second video. 
whether it be another episode of this, which it probably will be, because Showdown has not been in my favor, and like I said, my internet is all out of whack tonight, so probably not going to take the risk with that. Just got two crits in a row, too. Which is pretty nuts. But it will be a double upload regardless. And here, actually, I will show you guys exactly what I mean with Salt Gear. So, I'm gonna knuckle stack, or Stephanie. And then I'll click Salt Cure. It's not gonna do very much. Oh my god, never mind. That did 10 times more damage than I expected it to. But then again, I guess Arrowcuda is actually very, very frail, so there is that. But yeah, like I said, after this trainer, I'm gonna end the video, so. I will get up to that uh, Poke Center and do exactly that. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. Make sure to have yourself a good day. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.